We're out here, we're at lunch. We made it to the field. What's up, vlog? What is up guys, your boy Steve Vanez back at it again. Guys, today we're starting back up the Day in the Life Versus series. I'm gonna compare a day in my life training to play professional baseball someday with your boy Brady Reynolds. He's a stud committed to Stanford. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. We're on the road to 100. Join the Valley Boys. We get after when nobody's watching. We grind no matter what, so join the squad. I'm about to head over to the field right now and train with my boy Jackson. But before we send it to Brady, let's get a baby cue the intro. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Brady Reynolds here, and like Steve said earlier, I'm gonna be collabing with my boy today, comparing our lives as baseball players across the country. So yeah, I got a full day of eating and training for you guys, just like a typical day in the life for me. So yeah, let's get right into it, baby. So first meal of the day, I don't actually usually eat a lot in the morning, so I kind of just eat throughout the day until it gets like lunchtime, and then I eat like full meals. But uh, for breakfast, we're gonna start, we're gonna go two bagels, and then we're probably gonna go with like a fruit, just cause, you know, it's good for the body, so. Let's get it. Also, guys, uh, here's your friendly reminder for the day. Drink some water in the morning. Good to start off the body with some fluids. So you already know. Got to get that water down. Got to stay hydrated. It's hot out here. A few moments later. All right, guys. Just finished breakfast. Actually, that's a lie. I have an apple still. Got an apple. It's what I went with. But like I said, my breakfasts are pretty basic. You know, not that much to it. Steve's probably going to make fun of me because I know he makes these big old plates. But uh, yeah, I just kind of eat throughout the day. Except dinner. I usually have a really big dinner. Shout out to my parents. They make some great meals. We eat pretty healthy thanks to their kitchen skills i did not get blessed with that talent but it's all right i'll i'll learn they'll teach me their ways don't worry but um yeah i'd like to take this time to tell you guys a little bit about me like steve said my name is brady reynolds i'm from bakersfield california valley boys represent i'm a stanford commit class of 2023 i played for cba for those of you that don't know it's california baseball academy we've been having a pretty good summer played at wwba we're going to jupiter in the fall so yeah i mean i'm excited just making this video to show you guys what it's like a day in the life for me so yeah let's get into it all right guys we we're about to throw with my boy jackson olsen you guys have probably seen him on tiktok guys he just got back from the savannah bananas dude so i'm gonna ask him a bunch of questions it's gonna be dope i just finished eating breakfast it's a little early still so i'm plopped out on the screen shout out to my mom you're the best hey guys we're running late like usual so let's dip Guys, just as I suspected, the local park was packed with softball players. Gotta love that. We're about to head over to the high school for the track's good. Get some long tossing, you know? I like practicing on a track because, like, you can see the yards and stuff. Bro, why is this food just walking in the street? Dude, the sidewalk, bro. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna put the camera down so I can drive. All right, guys, we made it to the field. I'm with your boy, Jackson Olsen. What's up, vlog? Just came back from Banana Land. How was it, dude? It was good. Since the last time we saw each other, I mean, my life's changed now. I'm a bad boy. <laughs> wow. Dude, hey, this kid was on ESPN, bro. That was awesome, man. Throw back to that clip watching the boy. Jackson, my boy's on ESPN, let's go. It looks like he might be hurt. No! <laughs> well, we're just waiting on Steven Gonzalez. He's grabbing Jackson a protein bar, but we're gonna get some thrown in right now. Gotta get some long toss in. Gotta warm up the wing, you guys know how it is. Scratch that, we got the boy Steven in the cut. It's good, bro. Had to get an energy drink. Too yeah. tired. Yeah, I'm tired. I was editing all that thing. It's that editing content grind, guys. It's underrated. I like getting money. I got time to get it. Talking on me, so my car's attending. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. Bobbing in a dash, and the stick is with it. Trading for the bananas or what? Bro, got to, man. Freaking, I got the best of the best right here. Showing me the ropes. He's doing some like behind the back flips and stuff. Catch this next one. Oh, dude, is that on the money? Wow. Bro. Whoa. Guys, he just did that underhand. That was super underrated right there. So I'm do like a sports science on that. All right, guys, we just finished throwing. My arm's feeling good. Jackson's feeling solid. Hey, we're gonna send it back to Brady. And I hit the four five on the wet side. But I'm from the east side. This how we side. This how we ride. Alright, we're out here, we're at lunch with my boys. You already know, we're getting right. School lunch going crazy. Alright guys, just finished school. It's a pretty normal day for me. Now we're gonna go head over to my workout. It's at 3, get out of school at 2.20. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, pulled up. The place I work out at after school. Gonna get a workout in. Shout out the Yard Baseball. That's where I do all my stuff. I got my personal trainer, Jacob Brum. Today we got heavy squats, some jumps. We're gonna get right into it, let's go. Shout out my boy 
boy Jacob. He get me right every day, five days a week, bro. Those Valley boys, they be on that grind. You got my boy Elliot back there, my boy Mason. You got my boy Aiden. We out here grinding, bro, every day. Let's get it. All right, guys, just finished the workout. Jacob Brum. <laughs> Signing out. At the Yard Baseball on Instagram, bro. He's him. He's him. Why do they leave the gate open? Yeah, that's what we're about to find out. Dude, this is a, this is a full game right now. Why do they leave this open? One, one, one. one. <laughs> he said one, one, one. <laughs> so it looks like they're having an inner squad right here at Burroughs. Should we just walk? Uh, <laughs> what if we just started walking? <laughs> guys, should I hop in right now? Put back on the cleats. Hey, if any of you guys goes to Burroughs, let's get a practice in, man. That'd be fun. Jackson really wants to go right now. <laughs> I just want to go play some third base. <laughs> right hand, bananas. Left hand, party animals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go. Good luck, 2-4. We're hitting and uh, my brother needs my keys. He looks like a <laughs> but check out why he looks like a <laughs> on his recent YouTube video. I don't know if people are gonna come to me for that. <laughs> I think I just look significantly older, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Go check it out, went on a crazy road trip and I got my head shaved in Mexico. It's all in the video. <laughs> Bro, Jackson. I know, me and Jackson just met. <laughs> How old do I look? How old do I look? 26. See that? <laughs> I told you, I look older, I'm 22. Guys, I'm 22. He's a year younger than me. All right, back to hitting. <laughs> Alright guys, well we just finished hitting right now. Swing's feeling solid. Swing's feeling better, man. Guys, I've had a shoulder injury for a minute, so kind of just trying to work back from that. Jackson, how's your swing feeling? Feels good. I'm just kind of nervous going to banana ball, not having played a baseball game in a year and a half, but <laughs> we're feeling good. Before we start lifting, we gotta show you the banana bat. Shout out Rawlings. Bro, look at Jackson's bat, bro. It's freaking ironic. <laughs> Dude, look at that Jackson Olsen. Good old Rawlings plug. Got a straight banana bat. Look at bro. the my handle on the handle. Oh yeah, dude, we got his Instagram handle on the handle. Go ahead, <laughs> go ahead, follow that if you guys aren't already. We're about to lift, get a quick little arm day. Let's send it back to the boy. All right, guys, I'm back. It's a little after my workout. I went home. I grabbed my bag that I usually bring to hit. It has like stuff like my bats, my batting gloves, some rosin, some pine tar. I'll do a bag review later, but that's kind of essentially what I use when I hit. And right now I'm at D-Bat. For those of you that don't know, D-Bat is like an indoor hitting facility. It's really nice in Bakersfield because it's usually really hot out. And so like right now the weather, I know you guys can't tell, but it's pretty dusty out and kind of gross to be hitting in. It's always a great idea to go hit inside when the conditions don't permit. I try to hit every day when I'm not playing, get some quality hacks in. So I'll probably hit for about an hour maybe 45 minutes depends on how busy it is but I never try to tire myself out just get those quality reps grind out feel my mechanics make sure everything's good so I'm excited let's go hit baby gone forever So we just finished hitting, got some good work. You know, probably got about 150 swings in, give or take. Don't want to overdo it. Like I said, I just kind of focus on my mechanics, you know, keeping everything smooth, solid. It's kind of what I do three times a week, maybe. Maybe if my dad's feeling BP, it's not too hot out. We'll go hit BP in a cage, but the machines here are pretty nice. Like I said, they throw curveballs, off speed. So you get to work different pitches, good work in, take swings anytime you can. You know, we're grinding, got that work in right now. So uh, it's time to go focus on academics. We got some homework to do tonight. So let's get into that. All right, guys, just got to the gym. Gonna scratch the garage workout. Gonna get a blink workout with the boy, Steven. Jackson's already wiped from today. He had a workout earlier. Yeah, we're about to get it in. Fit it up in the MJ jersey. Yeah, Steven's waiting inside like usual and late. So yeah, let's get this arm pump. Let's go, baby, big boy. Big boy, wait. Got it, baby. Yes, sir. Alright 
guys, you may be wondering, why am I wearing a jersey in the gym? Guys, we're starting a new trend. We're in jerseys for pump covers. Guys, if you think about it, it's literally the easiest pump cover ever. You just unbutton it, and then you can show off the guns like you already know. If anybody starts doing that, just know the Valley Boys did it first. And yeah, let's make this a trend, guys. Start posting on TikTok, Instagram. We're in jerseys to the gym, man. We're ball players. Gotta show off the jerseys. Yeah, it is arm day, so we're gonna get a fat arm pump. Let's get these bicep curls. behind the scenes. A little fitness TikTok, guys. Go blow it up if you guys haven't followed my TikTok already. Cut off some content. Fitness, baseball, skits, entertainment. We're the Valley Boys, guys. We gotta support each other. If you guys follow me, you never know. I'll give you guys a follow back. Guys, my arms are fried. And look, a typical baseball player probably shouldn't be just blasting an arm day, you know, probably not good for flexibility, mobility, but I'm luckily not on a team right now, so I could kind of do my own thing, a little arm pump, trying to take over the fitness world. But yeah, so now we're about to get some food. Had a great workout in with the boy. All right, guys, we are back. We're absolutely gassed from the gym. About to get some post-gym food. We usually like to keep it pretty healthy, but guys, we had to cash out today. We had to go to Yaki's, man. Try Excited for some Yaki's or what, bro? Hell yeah, I love Yaki's. Little spot in Burbank, if you know, you know. If you don't, too bad. Hey guys, I'm gonna get a yakko, no onions, and some lemonade. What are you gonna get, bro? I'm eating everything on the menu, to be honest. <laughs> Should we do like a cheat day, kind of like The Rock? Wait, hey, what is that, a Tesla, bro? Bro, what is that car? It has to be a Tesla. It's like from a different dimension or something. What the heck? All right, let's get some food. Okay guys, I'm back. Just finished an econ assignment. Uh, that's actually all the homework I have for tonight. I did have some statistics homework earlier, but I finished it in class. That's kind of the key to me. I don't really have a bunch of free time after school. So I try to get as much homework as I can done in class. I also did some psychology homework, but um, yeah, I mean, not really crazy. I just had some notes I needed to fill out. I usually have probably about an hour, an hour or so of homework every night. Other than that, I'm studying before tests. Going to Stanford is academics is obviously a huge thing so you know i gotta stay on top of my classes i take some pretty tough classes you know all honors and ap wow. I study for ap exams at the end of the year yeah i mean stay in school you gotta do what you gotta do coaches look at your work ethic in the classroom just as much as they do on the field i mean that's just a two-way grind so student athlete you know student comes first so yeah i mean now we're gonna get into a little gear review so yeah let's do it all right guys like i promised your bag review as you can see i got a Marucci duffel. CBA, we we're fortunate enough to get Marucci stuff and we we're very blessed. Gets the job done, it's pretty sweet. I actually already pulled these out. These are my cleats. They're football cleats. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, I like them. They're pretty clean. They're white and gray, they're light. I like how they feel. Make me feel like I run pretty fast and I think they look cool. The next thing we got, I got a little compression Nike Elite sleeve. I usually like to wear, you no, know, on my throwing arm. I throw right-handed to keep my arm warm. Next thing we got is I got my Marucci, my CBA helmet. Um, I don't wear this during high school. We have helmets for our high school team, but right now I'm still in club season. And then next thing I got, I got a yellow custom Evo Shield leg guard. It's actually, it says Kicks Crew on the back and it's yellow. For those of you that don't know, yellow is the color for pediatric cancer. And my little cousin is going through chemotherapy right now. And Kicks Crew is just her little slogan we have going for her to get her through it. Yeah, I mean, it's just a little reminder to me every time I play a game that I'm playing for my family and um, I need to represent them just to keep her in my heart. So yeah, and then and I got some Marucci batting gloves. I have a couple pairs of these. I actually go through batting gloves really fast and these have actually lasted me a decent amount of time. Other than that, I mean, I got a ton of baseballs in here and then a leather. I got, this is the Bryce Harper model. I love Rawlings gloves. I actually do three fingers in the pinky. It's kind of weird, but it, deep pocket, so I really like it. It is 13 inches. I do play outfield, so it's pretty big. You know, track some balls down with it. I mean, I always got a bag of seeds. Cracked pepper is my favorite flavor. Can't forget one of the most important parts, actually, is my bat. Also brought to you by CBA. This is the Pro Reserve Tatis 23. So it is the Tatis model. As you can see, it's got a couple swings on it. Nice and tarred up. It does also have a little Jobu sticker. It's a 3330. I like it. The wood is really solid. It's maple. That's pretty much it. All right, guys, kind of winding down my night. I just want to take this time to kind of talk to you guys about my recruiting process and uh, what I went through to get recruited to play baseball. 
at Bamford. So I'm class 2023. Right now I'm a senior in high school, but my recruiting process started, honestly, it started the summer after eighth grade. I played in a tournament in Arizona. It was the USA baseball tournament. It was like the, the West Coast World Championships or whatever it's called. I'm not really sure, but a bunch of college coaches were there watching and I did really well. I was heating up that summer. You know, that's when I started to gain some muscle, get bigger. And the Stanford coaches, uh, they really liked me. Um, and Stanford's been my dream school since I was like seven years old. So it was super quick recruiting process for me. I was playing and then I got asked to go back to USA baseball in North Carolina for the 15U uh, national team. And we were doing trials there and there were more college coaches there. And so I got looked at by probably all of the power five schools were there. And it was a great experience for me. I was talking to Coach Eager, which is the recruiting coordinator. And he really, he set everything up for me. They like to approach me early, obviously freshman year. It's really crazy. That's when I committed, I committed freshman year, but they had to set my classes in order. Obviously Stanford is like one of the top institutions in the world. So um, academics are obviously super important. And so they were set my classes in line for me in high school. You know, they talked to my counselor, they set everything up for me and uh, you know, they just let me play. I really like the vibe that all the coaches give off you. The atmosphere is amazing. The campus is beautiful. The field, Sunken Diamond is amazing. For those of you that have never been to a game there, I think you should go. It's super pretty. The weather is always great. But uh, like I said, it was my dream school. So I was talking to a couple other schools. As soon as I got offered, I committed. It was super fast. I was like, you know what? Why would I wait when this is where I want to go? You know, that being said, that Valley Boy mindset, you know, you got to be a grinder in the classroom. You got to be a grinder on the field. You got to be in the weight room. Like coaches look at that stuff. You always got to be, you always got to know that somebody's going to be watching you, whether it be like looking at your transcripts, looking at your grades, the way you handle yourself after a strikeout, you know, those tough games, that's what they're really looking at. Knowing that you need to be tough and you got to have that Valley Boy mindset that really, that really got me through a bunch of like, you know, tough games when you're going over four and everybody's there watching you you can't let your head explode so that's pretty much it i mean it was pretty quick for me obviously i'm a senior so i'll leave for summer ball next year after i graduate from high school and but yeah i'm looking forward to things on the farm get to know the players the coaches really well and you know i'm looking to win a college world series so that's the next step in my life but i was happy to share it with you guys and i'm just gonna send you guys back to steve so see y'all Alrighty, guys we are back in burbank just finished editing up a vlog and check out that valley boy sticker let's go yeah we are about to eat dinner. What do we got? Looks like Mama Kanaz hooked it up with some chicken, pita bread, and brown rice. Mom always come in clutch. We're about to eat this right now. Gonna keep getting the calories, trying to get to like 3,000 calories a day. Right now I'm at like 175, trying to get back to 185. So we're grinding, boys. Comment down below if you guys are trying to gain weight, lose weight. Maybe I could offer you guys some advice. Get a lot of questions in my DMs. But yeah, guys, we are about to eat this and then gonna come back at you. Alright, guys, and just like that, that's probably gonna be the end of the video. My night honestly is just getting started. I gotta edit a whole YouTube video. So yeah, the grind is real right now. Training to play professional baseball, but on my own time clock so that gives me time to edit these videos for you trying to bring out that content shout out to the boy brady kids a stud been supporting the channel for years We're gonna do great things man this year in high school and heading to stanford hopefully gonna see him in the league one day make sure you guys go follow him right now at brady reynolds on instagram comment down below if you guys want me to go to some of his high school games this year for a senior year i'm down to make the trip over to bakersfield not too far but guys just like he was saying make sure you guys join the valley boys we get that work in when nobody's watching no matter the hate no matter the doubt no matter if you're working in silence or for 70,000 subscribers make sure you guys sub by the way we're trying to get to 100 Okay. But join the Valley Boys movement. Drop a subscribe. Cop a hat at valleyboys.shop. Appreciate all the love and support, guys. Comment down who you guys want me to get next for the channel. I'm starting this series up again. You guys seem to love it. Like I said, guys, follow my boy on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. It's all Steven Kinez. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it on the video today. See you guys in the next one. Valley Boys up, baby. Peace. Yeah, cut that one out. <laughs> Talking about Steve Jobs' uh, daughter, uh, she's kind of cute, dude. <laughs>